it's Scala and welcome back to my channel. So I am here with Danny. Hi guys. So today <laughs> we're going to be hitting you with skincare, fitness and finance. It's going to be amazing. Let's get right into it. Right, so I have absolutely been loving Danny's videos. What did I tweet the other day? What was it? I feel like Danny's like helping my skin and my wallet glow. And I was like, yes. this is literally my life mission. I just want everyone to like feel, look great, but also have like some great financial wellness. So I'm trying to bring that all to you. I'm YouTube loving again. it. I'm loving it. So <laughs> I thought I'd bring that to you guys. So we're gonna be starting off with skincare okay so excited as you guys know seasons are changing we're all suffering i know for me personally this is the time where like hydration is key so starting off with a mask i feel like a mask is such a nice piece of going to the routine you know it's not everyday mask maybe once or twice a week i like to do a mask once a week so this is the <laughs> garnier <laughs> tissue mask this is one of those korean sheet masks which i think it's like three or four pounds in boots super cheap but actually really really nice and another one is the Neutrogena Hydra Boost so they actually do make this in a sheet mask version but it's actually like a paste this is amazing Ooh, can I touch it? there's a tiny bit left it's a little jelly Ooh. it's great because there's so many uses in this pot and I love the fact that you know you can get like four face masks out of this and I'm like that's good value for money the next thing which is really important to me and I think to everyone's keeping that glow and keep your skin looking renewed and fresh is a retinol so, Ooh, okay, wait. What is that? I kind of know what retinols are because yeah. I've been hearing so many people talk about them, but at the same time, I don't know. So. so, retinol is an active ingredient that you have in skincare which helps your skin resurface essentially. That's retinol. And I'd like to point out that she's not wearing any face makeup right now like this is Stop that's it. just like she's just she's glowing like i'm embarrassed to see retinol here. so this is the cerave resurfacing retinol serum you can't actually pick this up in the uk at the moment i picked this up in the states but it's super cheap i think it's around 14 dollars, which i think is pretty good for pretty good quality product also, the next one, if you follow my channel, you will see me talk about this. This is a more luxury product. Luxury. So this is by Dr. Dennis Grass, and this is the Wrinkle Serum for overnight. So this is a really nice one to use overnight. It's like a thick moisturizer. I'm actually cheeky and use this daytime as well. Because I just like to lock in the moisture, you know, and it just feels so good. And then lastly, I guess, well, not lastly, penultimately, is moisturizers. So, I don't know, it's really important, especially with eyes. Like, I'm very obsessed with eye moisture. You know, I'm getting older. <laughs> I'm like, starting now to take it a bit you're more not, seriously. You're making it sound like you're really I'm, I'm old. I'm 25, I'm not old. <laughs> I do that all the time, I'm always like, oh my God, another birthday. Honestly, I just like want to keep my skin looking as good as possible. So, for eyes, I use the Glossier Bubble Wrap. This is their eye cream. You can also use it on lips. Personally, I don't like it on lips. I like a more hydrating lip kind of moisturizer but this is really nice for under eye and then for an all over face moisturizer this is the polypeptide cream by drunk elephant which you can pick up in space nk final and most important step is spf guys i mean oh, yeah. if you are someone especially that has you know different color textures in your skin or if you are using products like retinol it's so important that we are aware of spf even in winter like as you'll see especially if you're based in the uk it's cold but we have bright days we have really bright days yeah. and your skin is still being exposed to those sun rays so i've got two spfs here so the first spf is by glossier this is the invisible shield spf 30. i really like this because it is really moisturizing Zero white caps. Yes, that was the question. Very, <laughs> very important. See. Because especially for me, I don't wear a face moisturizer every day, but I do wear an SPF every day. Yes. So having a product like this, which is rich in moisture, that doesn't leave me looking like Casper the Ghost, is so important. That's amazing. Do you like this one? I really like that one. I love this product. <laughs> the second SPF is called Super Goop. So this is the Unseen Broad Spectrum SPF 40. Ooh. So essentially, I'm not going to go into the science of SPF, but essentially, there's actually not much difference between these two, but this will last 10 times longer than an SPF 30 because it's SPF 40. We're going to be going on to some fitness now. Cool, so now we're gonna do a few Pilates moves that can help to strengthen your back. So for those of you who don't know, I had a really bad car incident and actually Pilates really helped me like fix my back. So let's start on our fronts. Okay. I'm gonna do it next to Scholar oh, on the carpet <laughs> as we have one mat. So we're gonna start laying on the floor, popping your hands in line with your shoulders at the side, mm -hmm. down onto the mat. 
chin to chest, forehead, all the way to the ground. And then you're gonna start to rise through your toes. You're pointing your big toes towards the back wall until you feel them lift. You should kind of feel like your calves coming off the ground, maybe even your thighs if you've got that strength. And then from there, we're gonna pull the arms up and tightened through the middle of the back. Oh. So if you can feel pinching in the lower back here, really focus on pulling in your core to take that away and tighten through your glutes to avoid that lower back pinch. And lower. And then we're gonna repeat, starting with the toes, pointing them to the back wall, lift the chest, pinch, and back down. So next move is a progression from there. So we're gonna start with the arms in the same place. Toes are flat against the ground at this point but we're gonna push through the arm. So as if you're drawing your shoulder blades back and pushing through the bottom of the palms of the hand. Same again, if you can feel the pinching in the lower back, please take it through the core rather than squeezing through your buttocks at this point. But we're gonna go back down, turning those elbows in as if you're pushing your forearms out the front window. Bend at the elbow, back down, lowering the chest slowly. Oh girl, this is the burn. And then lifting again. We're gonna go halfway here. Just keeping that bend through the elbow and back down. Using the middle of your back to really help you take this. Same again, halfway up. And then the same again, it's kind of similar to what we did at the first one. Drawing the toes up the back wall to lift up to your hip bones. Fingers are coming up and separate arms go with separate feet. And we're swimming. Okay, yeah, Opposite got it. sides. Oh my god. Point. Use the exhale on the way down. Inhale. That's it. Really try and draw those toes up the back wall. And let's go for three, two, one. Oh, You're wow. done. That was really your good. Your glutes and your back will thank you later. Yeah. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay, it is time to glow up our bank accounts, okay? This has been my favorite part of Danny's channel. It's just Thank been like, you. just stuff that you just need to know that's so simple. So today she's gonna be hitting us with a few tips. Absolutely, so I've got three things that you can do today to make yourself more financially future-proof, essentially. So the first thing I would say, it's kind of a boring one, but actually with what's happening in the UK at the moment, please make sure you're on the electoral roll. So you might think this is just for voting, but actually it does play a massive part with your credit and your banks and all that kind of fun financial stuff. So number one, you know, electoral I didn't role. know that. I had no, I there mean, I'm, I'm on it, but not because of, I didn't Yeah, know that's like one thing. of the easiest things you can do that actually does impact your credit score and stuff. So, you know, make sure you always update it, especially if you're someone that's like renting or at uni, you know, check that. We're gonna check for financial leaks. You're like, what the hell is a financial what leak? Is it? A financial <laughs> leak is a direct debit that you don't remember you're paying. Oh, that's oh, a good one. This is what we're gonna do. So go on your online banking and have a look at all your past transactions from the past month. I would even say to go back the past two months and have a look for direct debits that you know you might have forgot that you've got. Three pounds here, seven pounds there. They all add up. They really do. And actually, you should be able to go through your direct debits and know off the top of your head, I've got a direct debit for my phone my insurance, healthcare, etc, etc. Easy things that you can dial off from the top of your head and not have random things going out for like, I don't know, a hairbrush that you bought three years ago. That is such a good one because I thought I'd cancelled a gym membership. I think this was about last year or two years ago and turned out I hadn't. And I hadn't mm. checked for like six months. Or like I did check my bank account, but not to the point where I'd be like looking Going at through. everything. Yeah. And then by then, I mean, I managed to get my money back. Amazing. <laughs> but that was just because the bank was being nice. Good. But yeah, it was just a, one of those things that I didn't realize these people were charging me even though I'd canceled, so it was a whole thing. It's really important, especially just going on from what Scholar said. If you have got anything that potentially, you know, you didn't know about, you actually did actively cancel it, definitely dispute the charges. Oh yeah, you can dispute Absolutely it. Absolutely dispute it's the charges. It's your money, you know, and you're entitled to it, especially if you didn't know you were paying for it. So that's tip number two, check for financial leaks. And tip number three, if you're not buying Christmas presents yet, what the hell are you doing? Now, let's not be a last minute Susie and get to December the 20th and start Which buying everything. I've been there, I've done it so many years and actually now, 
we were just laughing at the fact that I already have Christmas presents in my flat for my friends and family. Mm -hmm. It's so important just to be a bit more like financially savvy. Like one thing that I would say, starting from now, ready for next year, is create a little sinking fund. Put £10 a month away in there. By the time you, next, you get to next December, that's £120, which actually you didn't actively have to think about. Yeah, not And realistically, you shouldn't be spending more than that on Christmas presents for people. Like, let's be good, you know, Christmas comes around every year, people know that you love them, and I think that actually, gifts aren't the best way of showing how we care about yeah, people no, anyway. Yeah. Especially at Christmas, it's all about like eating food. Yeah, it's I like, think the older you get as well, it's a bit naff. I'm like, my mum always asks me, oh, what do you want? I'm like, do you want to pay my rent? Thank you for coming <laughs> and glowing us up, basically, in every aspect of our I'm lives. Trying. I'm honestly. really trying. <laughs> I didn't even know what finance tips she was going to hit us with, so it was like a pleasant like, surprise for me. I always got a little tip up my <laughs> If you want to see more of her tips, more of her videos, all that good stuff, then make sure you check the description box for all her links instagram youtube all of them <laughs> stay healthy stay luscious and i will talk to you guys later bye, bye. <laughs> <laughs> Woohoo! oh my god I'm so